Lecture 4 time. We're doing Python inputs, variables, and simple decisions. First line, username equals sign input. Hello, what's your name? That prompt shows up, and whatever you type is stored in username as text. Same idea with username equals sign input. What's your name? Then print. Hello plus username greets you using that text. Important point, input always returns a string. So username is a string, not a number. Next, user average equals sign int. Input, what's your average? Here we wrap input with int. That converts the string digits to an actual integer so we can compare numbers. Now the decision part. If user average 40, to print, I am sorry you can only pass with an average more than 40. Else, fail count and into. And how many modules did you fail? And how many modules did you fail? So fail count three. Print. Congratulations, you passed. Else, so print. I am sorry, but you didn't pass your degree because you failed more than three modules. That structure means if average is under 40, we stop and show the fail message. Otherwise, we ask about failed modules and decide again. Sample run. The one you ask for. What's your name? John. Hello, John. What's your average? And how many modules did you fail? Two. Congratulations, you passed. Other outcomes. Average 35 or immediately. I am sorry you can only pass with an average more than 40. Average 62. Fail count 4. Ro, I am sorry but you didn't pass your degree because you failed more than 3 modules. Thing average 40. Fail count 3. Congratulations you passed. Nana equal sign input. Give number. If you type 50 inch will be 50 inches a string. Not an int. To use it as a number do an equal sign int. Input. Give number. Give number. Quick string comparison example, user1 equal sign auto, user2 equal sign abai, std equal sign user1, user2, search true. Why? Python compares strings alphabetically, lexicographically. Compare character by character. A equal sign equal sign A, DB, so ADA. If cases differ, uppercase compares before lowercase. Summary. Input gives strings, use int, int for numbers, and use if else to branch logic. Try changing the inputs to see each branch fire.